G'day everyone, hope you're well. So this is the latest Mistel from ICM. I think their previous one was a JU88 uh, base, but it had the cockpit on it. This one's without the cockpit, it's just got the warhead. Obviously it's just ICM's BF109 and the JU88 kit combined. So let's have a look-see what you get. It's usually got the soft cardboard lid with a box sturdy box interior. Let me remove all this. A heap of plastic, obviously, because there's two kits. All right, uh, this is ICM's paint call out. Come on a bit. Uh, so that's their acrylic range. They do sets as well, and they release kits with paint as well, I believe. But I am not into acrylic. I can help it. All right, let's have a look. Tell you a bit of history about the Mistel. Our sprue maps and all the parts that won't be used, which would entail a cockpit, I would imagine, for the JU88. So that yeah, the base models are. JU88 A4 minus many parts and this will be a new sprue with the warhead on it and the uh, Messerschmitt BF 109 4F now I know the JU88 I think was new tooled in 2015 I'm not sure about the uh, the BF-109, I think that may be older. And I've never done one of their 109, so I can't say how good the kit is or not. So we're starting with the, the 88. <clears throat> Obviously, you're going to save a lot of time with no cockpit. It's just the, the wall head on the front. Uh, so you're dealing with fuselage and putting the wood and then you're into the wings, uh, control surfaces, and there goes the sander, uh, rudder, uh, flaps and slats, and then you're into the landing gear. Um, the engines. So even though you got heaps of steps, they they lay it out a bit so it's not all crammed in the one section. So it keeps it simple, easy to follow. So we got we had like what, three pages nearly, almost three pages of doing the engine, the cells, the engines. Uh, we're mounting them on. And the uh, propellers and spinners, wheels, uh, gear doors, and then we're into the BF 109. Uh, you start with your cockpit, engine, uh, engine mount, uh, mounts to the cockpit, and then that goes into your fuselage. And we got our stabilizers, uh, engine covers, cowls. Uh, you got a one piece lower wing, and the two pieces sit on top. And then you have your wing tips, uh, canopy, uh, air cooler, and 
and the uh, the landing gear is up. Uh, then we uh, I got a map of uh, where you need to drill holes to uh, mount your framework that attaches the BF-109 to the JU-88 and you get, I honestly don't see the point in these, but you get these masks, if you put your tape over it and cut them out you make a mask, but it's the same difference if you put the tape on a, the clear part and cut it out, I don't Anyway, that's me. Plus, you lose your uh, stickiness by sticking it to the paper. So it'll be a pretty impressive size uh, display when it's done in 48 scale. And then we got our color callouts. So we have. This is in June 1944. Uh, Combat component of the complex Mistel 1 2 KG 101 Saint Dizier uh, and your classic splinter camo. And then uh, we got France 44, and this one's uh, probably from Einsatz Group, uh, Berg 44. Apologies for butchering the German language again. Uh, both Splinter Camo, I think they're I had a quick look, they look the same scheme. And then we got uh, Color Call Out Schemes for the uh, BF-109. Some uh, mottling and splinter camo. Oh, I like that one. <clears throat> Bit of red on it. Yeah. Brighten it up. And the yellow uh, fuselage band. It's quite nice. Otherwise, again, you it's the same camouflage scheme. Just different the markings and the uh, fuselage band is different and it also be a nice look with the two different styles of splinter camo so you got the grey on the 109 and you got the green on the 88 very impressive alright right. so decal sheet Looks very nice. I'll take photos at the end. I'm just going to grab what's on top so you may get mixed up here a bit. Alright, so there's the warhead. The wing root uh, fuselage bottom. So it looks pretty nice. As usual, ICM don't really uh, do much in the way of riveting detail. So if you want to, you can add that yourself. Uh, so obviously, that's for your uh, attaching the two aircraft together. Will be the one and all. Set that down, clear. All good, very nice. Just a slight bit of flash on the edge, but uh, the actual window panes in the frames is all clear. No scratches. So I 
guess if you wanted to you could if you wanted a more detailed one on one you could use an Eddard kit and attach it to it so you got a bit of flash happening on some of these parts like I said I'm not sure how old this uh, mold is for this kit so uh, engine wingtips um, saw stacks and a few parts for the uh, cockpit and the wings there's some rivet detail on the lower wing right And on into the 88. That way. Oh, we got a loose part there. Alright. Uh, I'm not going to show that because you won't be using it, but it all looks good. <laughs> Alright, where's the area? Yeah, there's the loose part. Let me lift that out the way. Uh, a few more loose parts there. Let's get a few small parts to keep them separate. Uh, again, I'm not sure. I don't think we'll be using any of that as guns. Right in into the fuselage. Again, you won't use that piece because the other sprue had the uh, that section with the uh, warhead section. And all that you won't see, and it probably won't go in anyway, like that. Uh, Sprue map showed heaps of parts not being used. <laughs> so we got our engine nacelles, uh, landing gear, propellers there. The wheels actually look quite nice, even though they're the two halves, which I despise. We can clean that up, you know. Well, that, that's easy to rescribe in, but if you've got diamond tread and those sorts of patterns, yeah, it makes life a bit difficult when you're seeing them and cleaning them up. So two of these engine parts. So you're going to be left with uh, a whole heap of spare parts from this kit. Control surfaces. Uh, so the framework for the engines. Landing gear. Leg. Uh, another set of cells and propellers I didn't take note of which ones was being used and the wings like I said it's lacking the rivet details but it's still a nice looking kit the uh, 88 So I'm planning on doing this one at some stage and it may become a build for my uh, local competition, not this year but next year. Perhaps I see 
when I get into it, what if I'm happy with it or not when I'm doing the build. Again, something different. It'll take up a bit of room in the display cabinet, but just it's like at a model show that's going to draw attention because it's, it's so different. So I'm going to add some pictures now at the end. Thank you for watching.